Hi, this is Darren with Wycliffe Auctioneers. Just wanted to give you a short, quick preview of our auction coming up tomorrow, September the 9th, for the Doug Lawrence Estate Fine Art Collection. Just going to hit a couple of the highlights here for you. Um, auction starts at 11 o'clock tomorrow, and doors open at 10. Um, online bidding and registration is open until 10 o'clock in the morning. And if you want to come uh, bid in person, you're welcome to do that. Just shoot us an email or uh, go to our website and click the RSVP button. You can get registered to come bid in person. Just I want to hit a couple of the highlights here for you. Um, one of the uh, staff favorites here is this George Ames Aldrich. Um, beautiful piece here. And one of the nicest Aldrich paintings we've had in a long time. Did, uh, don't see a lot of figures in an Aldrich painting. And this one does have one. And look at how uh, well executed that water that you can just see it rippling. Um, next one we have here is probably the most rare painting in the auction. This is a J. Otis Adams, um, dated 1901. So uh, we are confident that it is a Whitewater River Valley piece, um, which would have been done um, in the Brookville area uh, around that time. And uh, really hard to find a J. Otis Adams oil, let alone a, a Brookville era piece. So uh, be sure to take note of that one. We also have four of the five Hoosier Group artists in this auction, um, including uh, Otto Stark. Sorry for the glare on that one. And R.B. Gruel, also a very rare find. There's another Otto Stark. That's a Leland, Michigan piece. And we have two William Forsyth oils and a William Forsyth mixed media. So we got four of the five Hoosier Group artists. Uh, the last Hoosier Group artist, T.C. Steele, will be included in our uh, second session for this uh, estate collection. And that is October the 7th. Um, we have John Elwood Bundy. We have Fred Wrigley, uh, Randolph Coates. Um, this is a, a UK artist named William Percy. That's a great painting. Um, we have Edgar Forkner. All three of those are Forkners. I really like that top one. Uh, we've got George Lenneman. Uh, we've got Frank Hunter. Uh, we've got uh, J.W. Hardrick. Uh, that's a nice Hardrick. Don't see too many Hardrick winter scenes. We've got Homer Davison. Uh, we've got um, Francis F. Brown. Uh, I like both of these Clarence Ball pieces. And, um, oh, there's a, there's a really nice um, Glenn Cooper Henshaw. Pardon the glare again. And here is another Otto Stark, unusual there. And this is a Will Vauder illustration from the uh, James Wick and Riley poem, Scotty. And Scotty stole and smoked the first cigar because he was a rascal. And there he is smoking the cigar. But a lot of, uh, here's Joseph Trover, a lot of great paintings in this auction. There's a uh, three-piece grouping from Trover. It's kind of monochromatic, pretty cool. And then I want to show you, we have uh, some great uh, art books from the Lawrence Estate Library, uh, all Indiana art reference, or there's a couple that are, are American art, but um, the jewel of this collection is the Hoosier Salon catalogs. It comes with the book that was published in 1990, but it also has um, original exhibition catalogs from as far back as 1944, I think, and then through the 50s and 60s. More Indiana art books. Most of these pieces are out of print. Um, just real quickly onto the other side of the room. Uh, more Indiana pieces. And uh, we've got um, several, we've got some nice uh, George Herbert Baker. Uh, there's an oil. That's one of my favorites. I think that's really well executed. Another nice Baker. Another nice Baker. Clifton Wheeler. Uh, Burling Boaz Jr. Two very nice examples of his work. Rob O'Dell. Um, and then this is the mystery painting. We've done more investigating into this painting. Um, several different uh, people have commented they thought it was this artist or that artist. It is clearly the, the famous overlook in Brown County. It is not signed. Um, guesses have been T.J. Cook or uh, Lucy Hartrath. Um, others have offered different opinions, but it's a beautiful painting. We have no idea who did it, but it's going to make a great addition to anybody's collection. Uh, there's a Harold Hancock, a nice size Harold Hancock. 
We've got Louis Bonza. We've got Paul Hadley. We've got William F. Kayser. Uh, we've got, uh, there's another Forkner um, still life. Um, multitude of different artists here. A lot of artists, uh, most of these are from Indiana, uh, but there are some uh, other regional artists. There's a cute little Elnora Day. It's called Almost Finished. Little kids making a snowman. Uh, there's Vaughn Williamson, uh, Wilbur Meese, original. Um, more and more paintings here. There's another George Lenneman. Um, lots of great pieces here. This is uh, unsigned, but the uh, uh, state had uh, purchased it as a June Burkholder, and I have no question with that. Um, other small paintings here, and a lot of the paintings in this auction are on the mid or smaller size, so it's easy to find a place for them. We're just looking forward to seeing you tomorrow or seeing you bid online. Again, the auction is Saturday, September 9th at 11 o'clock. And doors open at 10. Online bidding is now open. So please make plans to join us either online or in person. We'll look forward to seeing you. And thanks for watching.